Well guys, I didn't think this was going to be that exciting. And I was like, oh, won't film it, who cares? But now that we're starting to do something here, it looks kind of cool. So I thought I'd show you guys. So we've got a whole bunch of plants that we need to plant, but we're going to sun harden them first. But today we are also planting some of our beans. Our beans have finally grown. We've got some that are starting to grow. We had some before and they all died off because it was just way too dry. Um, all this is very new to us, so we're just learning as we go. But today we've decided to plant the beans. So I'll show you what we've got going on. So this section here, this gets very grassy, so I didn't want to have to mow it. So we've just laid down some black plastic um, and the water can still go through that. So we've done a mound of dirt along this edge here and we've put some wire up that we were going to throw out or just, you know, it's a bit, bit too rough to use this fencing now. So we've cut this up, put a few stakes in and the beans can grow up that. So we'll just cut some holes in, plant the beans and then hopefully they'll grow up here and we'll have nice beans. And then on the other side of that, I've got some spaghetti squash and zucchinis growing and maybe some pumpkins. So I'll be able to plant them on the back edge and they can sort of go down the hill, hopefully. So here's my beans that we grew from seed. There's two in there. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, I'm just gonna cut some holes and then plant them in there and hopefully they'll grow up. And hopefully this isn't gonna be too much sun for them. So they'll have the morning sun here and the sun goes down over that side. So hopefully the afternoon sun won't really hit them and burn them because these have been in the shade over there. So let's... Let's hope that they survive. <laughs> Spaghetti squash here. Yep. And this random zucchini. Oh yeah? Nice. Pretty sure it's zucchini. Fallen over and then it sprouted. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Guys, comment below what your favorite vegetable is. And have you guys ever tried spaghetti squash? Do you even know what that is? I'll put a picture up so you can see what it is. I remember as a little kid, my mum used to make it and you like scoop it out of its shell or it's, it's outside and it's like really, really thin spaghetti. And she used to just like cook it and then add butter and oh my God, it's so good. You have to try it. And I haven't seen it in the shops for years. Uh, I guess it just sort of went out of fashion and no one used to buy it. And we found spaghetti squash seeds, so I'm excited to grow them and try them again and see if I actually still like them. So we've got spaghetti squash and then zucchinis. And then we've got beans all the way along here. And now in this section, I've just done some pruning on my dragon fruit. So I've got yellow dragon fruit, I've got red dragon fruit, and I've got white dragon fruit. And I just bought them off someone else who was growing them and they've done exactly what I've just done. So basically all I've done is snipped off all the little bits that shouldn't be there and potted them so these are all fresh and the ones at the back here are ones that I've already that are, that are the cuttings from before and they seem to be going right so hopefully these fresh ones will get some roots on them and then I can either plant more or I can sell them I looked up Google to try and figure out how to tell the difference between all the different dragon fruits, but it's very hard to tell. So 
just basically gonna have to wait and see what happens really. <laughs> till it fruits. Till it fruits. Or until they get a little bit mature. Because those two back there, they look like mature red ones to me in those white pots. Nancy stole from mum, these are mangoes. But I, I've cut them right back as all the leaves died off soon. Yeah, I'm very skeptical that they are gonna be alright. Although I did scrape this this morning. They're good, they're and green. And it's still green. So we'll see. But the problem is they've got a root that's just, it's gone into concrete and it's only about that long and it had nothing coming off it, it was just one big yeah. root. Yeah, we'll see. And then we've got our loquats here. Yep. And chocolate pudding. So the chocolate pudding, the figs we got from mum's, that's a snapped off piece. I don't know if that one's going to yeah, live. Yeah, she reckons she just stabbed hers in the ground and it started I mean, growing, which is what this one is that's here. That's still and it's green, growing. so maybe. It'll come good. And I've just sort of chocked them up so that they don't float around. And then we've got our... um. Sour soap. Sour soap. Sour soap. Sour soap. Sour soap. So sour soap. So this is very similar to custard apple and I love custard apple. And then the people that were selling these said that if you love custard apple, you're going to love sour soap. So. Yeah. And we've got Hawaiian guava over here. Which is what they make Hopefully, really good juice out of. Some of these plants didn't have tags on them. So. We put our own. And we did a lot of shopping while we were back on the Gold Coast, so hopefully that is what I think it is. And then this is your R2E2. I did not know we bought one of them. What's the other side say? Oh, yeah. Oh. And then this one. This is the orange sherbet Kingston here. orange sherbet mango. Apparently tastes like orange sherbet. So these three mangoes are grafted, yeah. so they should fruit a lot quicker. They'll fruit next year. Yeah. So obviously these are from seed, these mangoes, and they probably won't fruit, if they survive, for probably five years or so. Yeah. And then you've got jackfruit here. Um, what is this thing? Custard apple. Oh, that's a custard apple. So that's apple. original custard apple, but yeah. I think this is from seed too, so that's probably not going to get fruit for a while. Yeah, and that's custard apple as well. Yep. Yeah. And there's another one over there. And then two red pawpaws. Nice. Uh, chapa chapa. Chapa chapa. <laughs> or chupa chupa. Chupa chupa. Uh, South American plant, I think. Gets like a sort of like a seed or oh, a fruit, sort of like this big, and tastes like a number of things. Um, tastes a little bit like sweet potato. Um, I've also been told that it's just very sweet and has like a pineapple and fruit salad sort of flavour so I'm very interested to know what this is going to turn out like. Um, the jackfruit. Never tried jackfruit but we were told that these are actually a really good fire break so they're quite um, fire, retardant. fire retardant. So what? why would they be fire retardant? They're not some sap in them. Some sap or some sap or something apparently. Um, yeah, we have a bit of a, a fire risk around here, so if we can plant a bunch of them around in certain spots, that's kind of cool. But also, these make a great vegetarian substitute for pulled pork, so I'm really excited to try that. <laughs> and your sweet potatoes? Yep, my sweet potatoes. I didn't plant them, they came from soil that we had somewhere else. So we bought a bunch of soil from somewhere else. And yeah, the sweet potato was just sort of growing in there, so I'm happy. I love sweet potato. It's going pretty good. Where did this come from? I, did you just put that there? I just, I just <laughs> grafted that. <laughs> okay, so Dennis has snapped this off our tree. This is a mulberry plant. So he's just snapped it off. You really should cut it, hun. I did cut it. Oh, you did cut it. Perfect. I cut it and I shaved the stump. Nice. So I, I want to get a couple of these going around the dam and stuff just so we got like little snacks yeah, nice. around places. Love it. There's a mulberry from home. That was just growing out of the ground. Yeah. He hasn't really done much, has he? Mm. Maybe needs some nutrients. It's only just coming into sort of summer. little tree. He's got a bit of rust on him. I might need to pay some, him attention. I love boabs. It's so cute. What is in there? Oh, the plants that I bought from the market, but they died. Oh, yeah. And then our grapes. So we've got a Sultana grape. 
So it's a, uh, yeah, black and then the white flame. Oh, the, sorry, the white, yeah, flame seedless. Oh, maybe that's the red one. Yeah, that would be the red one. So that would be the red seedless. Sultana's a clear, and yeah. Sultana is white. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing all right. So here's our watermelons, guys, that we planted. They're looking really good. We ended up having to put a watering system around because we went away for a week, so didn't want them to die. But they're looking really good. And our peaches and nectarines. No, yeah, peaches and nectarines, they're looking really good too. That's what, is that what, this is the one that's nice. Yeah. Oh, look at it. I think we've been extremely lucky with the weather that we've had here. Um, we've had unseasonal rain. So we've been filling up. It's been cool. And it's been cool. So we've been filling up the tanks as much as we possibly can, conserving as much as we can, and watering the garden as much as we can just to get it all established. And everything's doing great. So very, very happy with that, considering we have no idea what we're doing. There's a certain amount of research you can do, but you can still stuff it up. <laughs> and this is probably the better side to plant on because we only get morning sun and then afternoon sun goes that way. So everything we've planted on this downhill, I'm a little bit worried about, but the trees that are on this side are quite hardy, so hopefully, I mean, they're all surviving. Would we have one lychee that died, but... That oh, was within the first two days. Yeah, that was within the first two days, so I think it just got shocked too much. And, yeah, it died off, but that's the only plant that's died so far. Our other lychee was a bit funny, but Dennis put a shade cloth on it, and it's looking much better now. Yeah, so that's the lychee that was struggling, but it's got some new shoots now, though, isn't it? And then these are the dragon fruit that I was talking about. So this is my red dragon fruit pole, my white dragon fruit pole, and my yellow dragon fruit pole. Hopefully that's what's in there. We'll see once it starts fruiting. But at the moment, I am training them to go up. So... I've just cut off all the little new shoots that it's had that are down here and making sure that they just keep growing up and then once they get to here I can snip the tips so that that will promote more growth to come out. So then I'll have a hoop and then they can start growing over and hopefully we'll start harvesting our own dragon fruit. So a few of my plants have got a little bit of a disease on them at the moment but I have sprayed it so Hopefully that's going to get rid of that. They had a little bit of rust on them when I bought them and I didn't really take much notice of it and it's obviously gotten worse. So I've sprayed them now. It's been about three or four days. So I'll give it like another week and see how that is progressing. And hopefully it'll clear up. So this is the new growth I'm talking about. So you can see that I've cut one off there. And some other ones, like these are old ones that I've cut off. So this is a new growth, he'll keep growing up. Oh look at that, got a little flower. A couple of flowers actually. Amazing! Some more flowers here. Baby this one's getting flowers. Nice! And this is my new growth, so this, this has been cut off and this is the new shoot that's growing up. So this is our guava tree, is this the one you're talking about? Yeah, it's the white guava, which is the least, least wanted one, oh, but yeah, there's, look. there's two fruits there. Wow, that's awesome. There's two starting here as well. Oh, yay. And there's one here. Nice. Yay, that's exciting. <laughs> I love guava, it's so good. Yay! I'm gonna have to buy a sorbet machine. I want to turn everything into sorbets. Yeah, so Dennis wants to turn everything into sorbets. He's not keen on most of the stuff that we've planted, but he's like, I'm gonna make sorbets out of everything. So, 
least I can try and get him to eat some sort of fruits. <laughs> so this is our macadamia tree. Yes, it does have heaps more shoots now. Heaps new shoots. Oh, precious. So good. Mangoes, avocados down the back. Mango. And bananas in the distance, which are doing really well too. Got ladyfingers and one Cavendish at the end there. So how's this lychee going over here? Really? You can see it's got stunned and then it's like now shooting yeah, shoots everywhere. Yeah, it's got some new shoots now. Yeah, look at over here. Yeah, awesome. So worried that this one was going to die too. It's looking good. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll have fruit next year. Yay! Yeah, because that's a grafted one. Yeah. Oh, we're going to mow again. Yeah. <laughs> we have ordered a frail mower, which is a flail. How do you say it? Flail mower. Flail. I don't know. I always can't pronounce it. Anyway, so we've ordered one of them. It's an attachment that will go on the back of our cami. So you just switch it on and you drive around and mow. So, so these are our ladyfinger bananas up here. And we've got one Cavendish down the bottom. We saved these guys for an inevitable death at the dump someone was throwing them out and we said we will take them and nurse them back to health and so we did they're looking amazing 